Hey everybody, Homeslice Hunter here, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out a very rare legacy move for the Great League, and that is Normal Type Technoblast on Genesect. The only way to have this move in the Great League is to have a normal Genesect that was caught from research in 2020, and then to use an Elite TM to learn Normal Type Technoblast. Now, Genesect is a very frail Pokemon, so I teamed it up with two bulkier picks, Defense Deoxys and Umbreon, to give the team some bulk. So without further ado, let's hop out of the matches and check out normal Technoblast Genesect in action in the Great League. Picking up a terrible lead in the first match, Defense Deoxys into Sableye, immediate save switch into my soft counter of Genesect. Opponent is going to farm up a ton of energy and then send in Lantern. They gave Genesect a big energy lead, so I'm going straight for the normal Technoblast. Technoblast, big damage onto the bulky Lantern, and I'm able to win CMP with my X-Scissor over the Surf. X-Scissor, not quite enough to KO, but I can very comfortably shield once, Fury Cutter down, and take switch advantage, and that is huge because that means their Sableye is going to get trapped against my Umbreon. Sableye going for a foul play right away. They do not want to take any extra damage. That's fine by me. Genesect has done its job, and now I can absolutely crush the Sableye with Umbreon. I'm going for the foul play right away. They don't have to shield this, but it will start to get that Sableye low. I continue to farm. Sableye is going to win CMP over the Umbreon. They're going to fire off the return. But Umbreon is very tanky. I'm able to absorb that damage no problem and return fire with another foul play. This is going to grab a shield from the Sableye. In the back, the opponent has Altaria. And Altaria is a bit of a difficult Pokemon for Defense Deoxys to deal with. At the very least, this is a better matchup for Deoxys than going up against Sableye, but still not a fabulous spot for me to be in. I'm farming up quite a bit and I'm going to be going for the Thunderbolt here. Thunderbolt is going to get the shield from the Altaria. Altaria Aria is going to continue to farm. Deoxys is not going to make it to the double psycho boost, so I'm just going to settle for one final Thunderbolt. That is going to get the Altaria low. They have a ton of energy at this point. I think I need to call a Sky Attack to win, so I'm actually going to no shield here, and it's a Sky Attack. That's huge. Altaria able to make it to another Sky Attack. I'll commit the shield, and I'll farm up. I just have to watch for a switch. In comes Sableye, and I immediately go for the foul play. This foul play is going to KO the Sableye. Back in comes Altaria. Umbreon farming up, making it to the last resort. Last resort will definitely be taken care of the Altaria, and that is a good game. We've got a much better lead in the next match. Defense Deoxys into Obama Snow. I have two great counters to Obama Snow on the team. Opponent save switches into Swampert. I'm going to go for the Psycho Boost to get some chip damage, and then I can send in Umbreon. Psycho Boost actually gets a shield, which is even better for me. Umbreon does have a good matchup against Swampert regardless, just due to Umbreon's massive bulk. Swampert goes for the Earthquake, and that doesn't even do half of Umbreon's HP. I'm firing off this Foul Play. Foul Play is able to connect. It looks like a second one should just about KO. I'm going for foul play number two. This will be getting the opponent incredibly low. Decision time for the opponent. They are double shielding for switch. And honestly, I don't really need switch advantage in this game because regardless of where Obama Snow gets lined up, it's going to have a terrible matchup. So I'm more than happy to let this go and just take my shield advantage instead. I'm going to send in Deoxys. I'm going to look to farm all the way down. Swampert will be able to make it to an Earthquake, but I do tank an Earthquake, so I'm going to let this through. Earthquake does get the Deoxys quite low. We'll have to see what they have in the back. They have a Zoomeril, and with two shields, Genesec should be in a pretty nice spot here. I'm able to land the Thunderbolt. I continue to farm up. They send in Obama Snow, and now now it is time for Genesect to shine. These Fury Cutters actually doing some meaningful damage into the Obama Snow. Obama Snow goes for the Weather Ball. Genesect, definitely not the tankiest Pokemon ever, as Genesect is going to start shielding the Weather Balls. Genesect continuing to farm up, and Genesect will fire off the X Scissor. This will be lethal to the Obama Snow. Opponent gonna send back in the Azu. Azu going to fire off a charge move and grab the final shield from Genesect, but Genesect just has so much energy here. Genesect going for the normal Techno Blast on to the Azumarill. This will be getting the Azumarill deep into the red. I'm trying to make it to Techno Blast number two, but we Fury Cutter down. 
Moving into the next match, picking up a terrible lead, Defense Deoxys into Frostlass. Again, I'm going to save switch into Genesect, and even though I'm not running Magnet Bomb, I'm hoping that the threat of a Magnet Bomb is going to be able to grab a shield. So I farm up a little extra, and the X Scissor is able to grab the shield. That's huge. I'm going to shield up as well. Opponent probably just going for the Avalanche Bait due to how glassy Genesect is. Frostlass continues to farm. Opponent is going to send in Metajam, and I just have so much energy here. I'm going for the X Scissor. That lands onto the Metacham, Genesect, going for the Technoblast, tried to CMP there, but the opponent goes for the extra. Technoblast nearly one-shots the Metacham. I can shield, farm down, take switch, and that means that my Umbreon is going to get to absolutely crush the Frostlass in the endgame. We'll have to see, does the opponent send back in the Frostlass? They do. I continue to farm. Frostlass does not want to take any damage, so they're going to fire off an Avalanche. Avalanche will easily KO. I'm going to send in Umbreon Umbreon just in such a nice spot here. Opponent tries to CMP, but I end up going for the extra fast move. Avalanche not going to do a whole lot. I go for the foul play, and it's caught onto a Bastiodon. So winning switch advantage was absolutely everything in this game, as now Defense Deoxys gets to absolutely crush this Bastiodon. Bastiodon... Goes for a flamethrower for some reason here. My best guess is they just knew it was over and were basically going for a BM flamethrower. But either way, this game's done. I can undercharge the Thunderbolt, farm all the way down, and leave with double Psycho Boost to threaten the Frostlass. Frostlass, unfortunately, just not a whole lot they can do. They shield the Psycho Boost, but we have Psycho Boost number two loaded as well. Now, this is debuffed, so it won't quite KO, but I can send in the Umbreon, get the Snarl down... They go for the Avalanche. Avalanche definitely not going to KO, and that is a good game. We've got a tricky lead in the next match, Defense Deoxys into Shadow Dragon Air. On paper, this looks like a neutral matchup, but Defense Deoxys does not do well versus Dragon Breath. As you can see, Deoxys' health is getting absolutely shredded here. Dragon Air is going to be firing off the Body Slam. That's going to get Deoxys low, and I'm going to return fire with the Psycho Boost. This Psycho Boost should be grabbing the shield, and then I'm going to send in Genesect. Genesect, looking to farm up some energy opponent, is going to respond with a Noctowl. Noctowl definitely not going to appreciate the normal techno blast here genesect charging up able to land and dealing massive damage to knocked owl genesect able to win cmp over the owl here owl does have a lot of energy knocked owl commits the shield and honestly at this point i'm kind of okay with letting genesect go genesect was able to put in a ton of work get the knocked owl extremely low and grab a shield advantage in the process Knocked Owl is going to fire off the Sky Attack. Umbreon is very tanky, so Umbreon will be able to absorb that damage, go for the Foul Play, and grab the KO. So we know they have that low health Dragonair in the back, and their final Pokemon is revealed to be Lantern. I'm just going to look to farm up a ton of energy here, and I go for the Foul Play as they reach a move. I decide to shield. I get baited with a Surf. That is really, really unfortunate there. I was hoping they would full send the Thunderbolt on the first, but unfortunately, no such luck. I continue to farm. Decision time. I decide to expend my final shield, and I get double Surf baited. Really unfortunate. I'm going to fire off the Foul Play here. Foul Play is going to do some solid chip damage, beginning to get that Lantern low. Continuing to farm. Lantern able to make it to the Thunderbolt. This will be getting the Umbreon deep into the red, but they decide to go for the double surf instead and I'm able to make it to the last resort. Last resort will be getting them very low. Lantern at the last second able to reach another surf. Now this is going to be tough. Umbreon barely able to hang on. In comes Dragonair. I don't get the move and I lose CMP. I should have just switched in Deoxys and Snipe with the Psycho Boost but unfortunately we lose the game. Picking up a decent lead in the next match, Defense Deoxys into Galarian Stunfisk. I am able to hit for super effective damage with the counters in this matchup, but my energy isn't particularly useful. So I'm going to farm up and switch into Umbreon to absorb that energy. Opponent actually baited with a Rock Slide, and now they're going to send in Noctowl. Noctowl, honestly a pretty decent matchup for Umbreon, but my goal is to basically just play around the switch timers. So I'm going to tank the Sky Attack, return fire with the Foul Play, and hopefully I should be able to stall my switch clock long enough to snipe the Knocked Owl with a Thunderbolt that I have loaded. I'm going for Foul Play number two onto the Knocked Owl. This will be getting it below half health. Knocked Owl is going to continue to let that through as they recognize that move is not going to be lethal. I'm going to let this 
through. Sky Attack is going to be getting Umbreon into the red. I'm going to bank a foul play for later, bring back in the Deoxys, and now this Thunderbolt is a lot more useful versus the Noctowl than it would have been versus the Fisk. Opponent is going to send back in the Fisk. Fisk does have enough energy for the Earthquake, and I will respect it with a shield. Opponent full sends the Quake, so I'm very happy that I shielded. I'm going to continue to farm up here. I'm at the back-to-back -back Psycho Boost. Unfortunately, one will not quite KO here, but I will be able to throw the second, and this will definitely be lethal. Odds are, since they didn't shield the first, they're fine with just taking their shield advantage here, and in the back, they have Metacham. I need to try and reset my debuff, so I'm going to farm up, switch back into Umbreon, and fire off the foul play. Foul play does some nice chip damage. Metacham does get the farm down, but now my attack is back to normal on Deoxys, meaning that I should hopefully be able to grab some shields from my opponent. I'm gonna send back in Deoxys, go for the Thunderbolt, but I do lose CMP. I tank whatever they throw here. They go for a power up punch, so it looks like my opponent is just gonna try and max their attack and try and counter through the rest of my team. I'm able to grab their first shield, which is quite nice. I go for Psycho Boost number two, and again, I lose CMP. They go for the power up punch. That is just not going to be doing nearly enough damage here. I'm going for the psycho boost, hoping my opponent shields it, which they do. And now it is Genesect time. I just have to make it to the normal type Technoblast. I will commit the shield. Opponent opts to just go straight for the power up punch here. They're barely able to outpace. This is a very boosted power up punch. Genesect able to hang on, make the Technoblast. Technoblast will be taken care of the Metacham. And that is a good game. Moving into the next match, picking up a pretty nice lead. Defense Deoxys into Metacham. Definitely happy to catch the Medi on the lead. Opponent is going to save switch into a Shadow Grand Bowl. And at this point, I'm worried that it could be Double Charm. If that's the case, unfortunately, my Umbreon just has nowhere to run. I fire off the Thunderbolt. I'm able to grab a shield. Deoxys, unfortunately, not quite able to make the Psycho Boost before Grand Bowl makes the Crunch. I will commit the shield on the Crunch and go for the Psycho Boost. Are they willing to double shield their Grand Bowl? Psycho Boost. KOs the Grand Bowl. Opponent will send in Powder Snow Alolan Ninetales. This is quite unfortunate. I'm going to fire off a last second Psycho Boost, and then I'm going to send in Genesect. Genesect should be able to absorb the energy from the Ninetales here. They do have enough for the Dazzling Gleam. Ninetales goes for the Dazzling Gleam. They're going to switch into Metacham, and I respond with Umbreon. Umbreon honestly has a pseudo neutral matchup here, but then unfortunately I lag and I end up missing some fast moves. They go for the Ice Punch, and I concede the match. We've got same leads in the final match. Defense Deoxys into Metacham. Last time didn't go too well for me. Let's see if this time can be better. Opponent save switches into Frostlass. And already things are looking much better as I have a dominant answer available in Umbreon. Umbreon can very comfortably tank two avalanches in this matchup. I'm going to farm up quite a bit of energy and then go for the foul play. One foul play, not quite going to be enough to KO, but it will get that Frostlass deep into the red. Frostlass going for avalanche number two. Again, immediate no shield as Umbreon will be able to tank this. I'm going to overfarm quite a bit in this matchup because my goal is to leave with minimal HP for the Metacham to farm, but I hopefully should be able to reach a charge move. In comes Metacham, and I will be able to make it to the Foul Play. Foul Play will do some solid chip damage onto the Medi. Medi is able to get the farm down. I'm going to send in Defense Deoxys, and I can just confidently no shield here. It doesn't matter what they throw. I'll be able to tank it. Opponent goes for the Ice Punch. That does not do a lot. I'm going to farm up quite a bit. They're going for Ice Punch number two. Again, perfectly fine by me. I'm going to let this go. I have so much energy on Deoxys, and now I'm finally going to start throwing. Going for the Thunderbolt here. Thunderbolt is going to connect onto the Metacham. I'm going for the Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost will KO if they let it through. Psycho Boost is going to KO in the back. Opponent has done sparse, and at this point, this game should be over. Honestly, I don't even really need to shield Genesect. I can just get some chip damage and Deoxys can finish off the game. X Scissor is able to land. Honestly, I should tank a drill run, not by much. Opponent goes for the Rock Slide there, possibly just unfamiliar with Genesex typing, but both Rock Slide and Drill Run are neutral, so you actually do want to go for Drill Run in this matchup. I'm farming up, going for another X Scissor here. X Scissor probably going to start grabbing shields as the opponent has yet to shield in the match, and I'm able to win the CMP tie as I make it to the normal Techno Blast. That gets the final shield. I can just let this go, and then Defense Deoxys will easily be able to clean up in the end game here. They undercharge, looking for the farm down. Deoxys is not going to let that happen. Deoxys can shield up, 
throw one more counter, Psycho Boost, and this will easily KO. Unfortunately for Dunsparce, just cannot get to enough charge moves in the end game. Psycho Boost gets the knockout and the win. All in all, I really enjoyed getting to use Genesect. Unfortunately, Genesect's extreme glassiness, especially in the Great League, does hold it back from true meta relevance, but being able to surprise people with a Techno Blast that they may not know exists was pretty fun. One final thing I will note, I would love to see legendary Pokemon return to the weekly research rewards. It's something we had in the past, and that's how people were able to get mons like a Great League Genesect, a Great League Regirock, etc. So let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see legendaries return to those research raid boxes in the future. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.